Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, President Joe Biden visits Shanksville, Pennsylvania in honor of the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Plus, we'll show you how local organizations are honoring that same anniversary. And a high pressure continues to linger over our region, bringing us dry and warm weather for our Sunday. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's take a look at your first forecast. Alicia Hatcher is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Yes, a beautiful Saturday that we're having for some college football. Taking a look over in Bridgeport, nice afternoon, some clear skies for us. Temperatures are looking nice as, as well. We are in the 70s, in the 60s in the mountains, 68 right now in Davis, 74 in Elkins, 78 in West Union, and 75 in Morgantown. As we move into our evening, we drop down to the mid to low 60s. In the 50s in the mountains, 63 is the low here in Clarksburg for tonight with some mostly clear skies. Have a potential chance to see some fog in the valley late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But it's looking very nice and quiet for our evening. And I'll have your full forecast coming up in just a bit. Gina. Thanks, Alicia. The nation is reflecting on the somber 20th anniversary of 9 11. Nearly 3,000 people died in the terrorist attacks that day. President Joe Biden honored those victims today in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Exactly two decades ago, our nation changed forever. In the face of terror, our nation's resilience grew stronger. So many in our nation, too many in our nation, have deeply felt the passage of time these last 20 years. Every birthday, your loved one miss. Every holiday. Today marks 20 years since the country was attacked in New York, Washington, D.C., and in Pennsylvania. Today we remember your loss. We share your sorrow. From a former president to the current commander in chief, President Biden paid his respects at the Flight 93 National Memorial today by laying a wreath near the impact site of Flight 93, all to remember the 40 heroes who foiled the terrorist plan on September 11, 2001. The terrorists soon discovered that a random group of Americans is an exceptional group of people facing an impossible circumstance. They comforted their loved ones by phone, braced each other for action, and defeated the designs of evil. We must challenge ourselves, yes, to look back, to remember, for the sake of our children, for the sake of their children. And for that reason, we must also look forward. We must also look toward the future. And whenever we need hope and inspiration, we can look to the skies and remember. God bless. Former President Donald Trump commemorated the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks by visiting a fire station and police precinct in New York. Rather than join President Joe Biden and other past presidents at the official 9-11 memorial ceremony at the World Trade Center, the former president travel, traveled several blocks from his Manhattan Trump Tower building to the 17th police precinct and neighboring fire station. To do what you do, which is very dangerous, and I know it very well, and what happened at the World Trade Center was incredible, and what we did in the last week, what this government of ours did in the last week, is never going to be excused, ever. President Trump posed for pictures with the police and firefighters and even took a few selfies. The town of Granville held its 9-11 parade this morning to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the attacks. The parade started with the Grainville Fire Department coming up with the idea before getting the Grainville police on board. 
Over 40 emergency vehicles from all across Mon County, Marion County, and Pennsylvania made up the most of the parade, with a few elected officials participating as well. A reception took place afterwards with donuts and drinks for first responders to enjoy. I think our fire department and police department are very, very proud and very happy that they had such a response throughout Montague County and actually outside of Montague County. The support was um, large in response to it, and, and we're happy that everyone showed up and showed their patriotism today. All first responders who were in the parade also received a plaque to recognize their participation in the parade. Another 9-11 Remembrance event today took place this morning in Mon County. The Run to Remember 5K Run and Walk started bright and early in downtown Morgantown. The run started at Morgantown Running at the Seneca Center and had participants utilize the rail trail for the event. Proceeds from the run went to the Morgantown and Star City Police Departments. Organizers saw the event as a way to give back to the community and to those who helped honor their lives. I mean, we love being involved with the community and doing things. Um, of course, the community sp supports us, so we like to give back to them. Just a time to kind of honor those that were deeply affected. The top three males and top top three females in the 5K run received a prize, as well as the top female and male participant in the 5K walk. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, more 9-11 memorials taking place, this time ones underwater. But first, Abby Backenstow is live in the 12 Newsroom with what's coming up in the 12 Sports Zone. Abby. Thanks, Gina. Mountain East Conference football also in action today. And take a look at who we saw on the field for the Battlers. Former Lincoln All-State lineman Peyton Hawkins gets the start for AB today. Things didn't turn out well for the Battlers. We'll have more on that game when we come back. Stay with us. We are now accepting appointments for individuals who want to enroll in the DUI program. If you want to enroll, call today. Appointment slots are limited each week. Call us today at 800-232-0020. Out. And remember, if you've been hurt by a truck, call Forever Home. <laughs> if you're looking for a great dog or a cat, this is a good, good ah. for a dog or a cat. This is a great place to come. No, I know you're so friendly. You're so friendly. And I'm a. Remember, if you've been hurt by by a truck, remember. if you've been hurt by a, a truck, you've been hurt by a truck, any kind of truck, call Colombo Law. And remember, if you've been hurt by a truck, call Colombo Law. The NFL is back, and DraftKings' latest offer is a sure thing. So we got former automatic NFL kicker Martin Gramatica to break it down. Martin? Bet just $1 on any NFL game, get 200 Automatica, no matter what. That is Automatica, Martin Gramatica. It's no stressy, Jesse. Download the app, sign up with the promo code, bet $1 to get 200 automatically, and make it rain with an official sports betting partner of the NFL. He really wants me to buy this gun. What's going to happen if I do? That gun you bought, now two people are dead. Grandma, where are they taking her? Don't buy a gun for someone who can't. Allegheny Wood Products, a local hardwood company, has openings for log loaders, forklift and machine operators, lumber graders, maintenance and general laborers, top wages, benefits and advancement opportunities. Call us directly or email. Start your new career today at Allegheny Wood Products. Don't fight the insurance companies alone. The Miley Legal Group will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Visit MileyLegal.com today and get the tiger on your side. Working for you. This is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. Gregory Pa organized a law enforcement and first responder appreciation event today in front of the Randolph County Courthouse. Pa, or Greg the Flagman, as he's affectionately known as, did this to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. 
Pa is a Desert Storm veteran who says he's always appreciative of first responders and going out of his way to support them. If he says it is important for everyone to stop and think of everything they've done for us, especially on September 11th, 2001. I just want to uh, have a demonstration to support our local law enforcement, our first responders, all those that are there for us, and to recognize those who died that day on 9-11. 343 firemen, 60 police officers, countless EMS, and, you know, just to bring attention to the fact that they're missed, they're loved, and they're not forgotten. PA SAYS ON THIS AND EVERY OTHER DAY, WE SHOULD LET LAW ENFORCEMENT AND FIRST RESPONDERS KNOW THAT THEY ARE APPRECIATED. Divers in the Florida Keys installed an American flag underwater to commemorate the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Divers in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary carried the giant 30 by 40 foot flag about 60 feet beneath the ocean surface and affixed it to the king post of General Hoist Vanderberg. The historic military shipwreck was intentionally sunk to be an artificial reef. The installation of the flag was followed by a flyover by two Navy helicopters observed by boaters, including relatives and friends of people who died in the terrorist attacks and their aftermath. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Nice, beautiful Saturday for us for some college game day. Taking a look over in Montegalia County, close to the Coliseum, looking very nice. Some sunny skies for us, so hopefully a lot of people are out at the game and cheering on those Mountaineers. The wind is slowly coming down to the calm side, slightly breezy in a few areas in our region, but overall it will be looking very nice for us for this evening. We drop down to the mid to low 80s, down to the 70s. As that sun slowly begins to set right now, 72 in Grafton, 77 in West Union, and 77 in Buchanan. Now we are slightly below average than normals. Normally we are in the 80s, but we're down to the 70s. 76 was the high in Clarksburg for today. We are in a drought as well, mainly in the higher elevations. I know we saw some moisture last week, but that was not enough moisture to um, move on in, in the mountains. But we're going to start to see some moisture later on this week that we'll touch on just a little bit today. This high pressure system is what's giving us that dry, nice weather that we're seeing through our region and that we're going to continue to see as the week persists some nice weather looking ahead and we're going to be slightly above average throughout our region but for the rest of this evening some mostly sunny skies even into our evening mostly clear for our Sunday looking very nice for us as well too nice mostly sunny skies all the way into our Monday the same thing it will go on and repeat itself all the way until Tuesday night into Wednesday but Tuesday morning looking very nice for us as well the low tonight is in the 60s 63 here in Clarksburg in the 50s in the higher elevation some mostly clear skies. We could potentially see some valley fog in a few areas throughout our region, but just a slight chance, not as much as we've seen over the past few days or so. Temperatures are dropping down for our evening, 70s all the way down. Then we drop down to the 60s to the early mornings, and then we're in the 50s by 7 o'clock in the morning. So a chilly start to our Sunday, but then temperatures do jump up and it's looking very, very nice for us with a lot and lots of sunshine for our Sunday. So hopefully you have a chance to go out and enjoy the park, take a nice hike, enjoy the lake because temperatures will be looking very nice for us for Sunday all the way until Wednesday. Wednesday, that's when we're going to start seeing some showers roll on and there'll be a slight pattern over the next few days from Wednesday all the way to Saturday with some afternoon and evening showers. So let's enjoy those last few days until we start seeing some showers roll on in, Gina. Absolutely. We will enjoy it. And we got perfect tailgating weather today. Yes. I loved it. I wish we could go out. I know. I wish we could at be at the least get a hamburger game. or something, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. But it's, it's good to cool down for the rest of the day. It's great. And now here's Angelica Trenone with a look at the Mountaineers, this football game in your Mountaineer Minute.
An action-packed weekend of WVU athletics continues on with the home opener for WVU football. Neil Brown's Mountaineers look to get back on the winning track up against Long Island. This one started at 5 p.m., so make sure you are following along with all of our updates over at GoldenBlueNation.com. It's a game with emotional meaning as it's being played on the 20th year anniversary of 9-11. And both programs lost a member of their football family in the tragic events on this day in 2001. For West Virginia, it was former quarterback Chris Gray who was killed at ground zero that morning. And he and his family will receive special recognition here today along with all first responders. Meanwhile, out on the court in New York, WVU Volleyball earned its eighth straight victory. Reed Sunahara's Mountaineers remain undefeated on the season. And last night out on the pitch, number five men's soccer stayed that way as well. Dan Stratford's team edged Ohio State 1-0 in front of the second largest crowd in program history. You can find a full recap of all of the action over at our website as well. And of course, I'll have the highlights from right here at Milan Pushkar Stadium later tonight in your Mountaineer Minute. For now, that's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Angelica Trenell. Today's Mountaineer Minute report is brought to you by Higginbottom and Higginbottom. Our son was in a very bad automobile accident, was in the ICU, the pediatric ICU for several days. We got Sean's name and called Higginbotham and Higginbotham. Uh, Sean actually came to our home. We were treated wonderfully. Very, very happy with how it all turned out and happy to say that our son's condition has improved. Where we make your bad situation better, Higginbotham and Higginbotham. My name is Patrick Turner. I live here in Morgantown, and I'm a COVID survivor. In the beginning, we didn't consider it to be serious, didn't think I would ever catch COVID. My COVID-19 symptoms started on July 20th. It was just very difficult to breathe. I spiked a fever. I was coughing. And at that point, my wife said the only option I had was to go to the emergency room. I could see the fright in her eyes. and. She was, she was as scared as I was. I was in the hospital for four days. I never thought about it being as bad as what it was. I definitely wish I would have gotten vaccinated sooner. I wouldn't want to see anybody go through what I went through. It's just 15 minutes of your time to go get your vaccine. I spent four days in the hospital because I didn't have it. I got vaccinated for my friends, family, loved ones to protect them. If you haven't checked out Morgantown AES Federal Credit Union, what are you waiting for? Check out our amazing rate specials happening right now. Cars, trucks, boats, RVs, ATVs, and more will match any advertised rate up to 2.5% for qualified members. Morgantown AES Federal Credit Union is all about serving our members because we're owned entirely by our members. Join the family today and shop our incredible rate specials. Morgantown AES Federal Credit Union. Call 599-9600 or AESFCU.com. drives you. Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. Toyota is the only automaker right here in West Virginia with a $1.6 billion investment, bringing home 1,700 jobs and over $270 million in payroll. So the next time you think of home and about making a difference, remember who the home team is, directly supporting our local economy. Go West Virginia. Go Toyota, and let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Saturdays are for college football. Mountain East Conference teams taking the field today. Alderson brought us in its home opener today, hosting West Liberty. AB new head coach Travis Everhart's first home game as well. And would you look at that? Former Lincoln star Peyton Hawkins making the Battlers starting lineup. Hilltoppers up 7 to nothing in the first quarter. Second quarter now, West Lib knocking on the door again. Quarterback Jamie Divin drops back, connects with Isaiah Robinson in the end zone. Great catch there, and the Hilltoppers take a 14 to nothing lead. 
Hilltoppers strike again right before the half on the Battlers' one yard line. QB keeper and the pile up. He crosses the plane. West Lib extends its lead 21 to nothing. Battlers had their moments in this one. A few key defensive plays and the Battlers were successful in the air, but couldn't punch one in the end zone. AB falls 24 to nothing. Battlers 0 and 2 on the season. High school soccer now in Tenerton today, but Cannon Upshur hosts Eastern Panhandle opponent Martinsburg. Bucks get off to a hot start, specifically Catherine Olivito. She settles the goal kick here, takes a touch, launches it over the keeper's hands. That came in the first minute of this game. Bucks lead one to zip. In the 15th minute now, Olivito again gets the pass, beats the defender up the outside, back of the net for her second goal of the day. Bucks lead two to nothing now. Olivito completes the hat trick just a minute later. Miranda Green sends it to Olivito. She's on a breakaway now, places it nicely bottom left. That's three for her. Olivito, a hat trick. All of those in the first 20 minutes of this game. Bucks aren't done yet. Cameron Zuliani with the big throw in down the line here. Guess who? Olivito picks it up, sends a nice cross into the middle on the ground. Sheridan Phillips runs onto it. Left footed goal here. Bucks shut out Martinsburg 6 to nothing. Other Bucks goals by Zuliani and Ava Holland. The catch of the week is brought to you by Salem University. Built on tradition, focused on the future. Who had the best hands on Friday night? It's time for the Salem Catch of the Week nominees. First one comes from a Marion County battle. North Marion's Brody Hall finds Tariq Miller, gets his hands out there, and the spin move to gain some yards. Tariq always with good hands, and this week, no different. Next catch comes from Ellenboro. Ethan Hot flares it out to Gus Morrison. He grabs it before it hits the ground, takes it to the house. Let's see that one again. Nice hands here by Gus Morrison. And the last uh, catch of the week, last week's catch of the uh, week winner, do it again. Sage Clodges makes this catch in the end zone for a Hawks a touchdown. Watch Clodges get up there to make this catch. Time now for the Stan Kimion Insurance Coverage of the Week. Time for coverage of the week segment, as you just heard. Had some great plays last week, but two more fantastic defensive plays this week. First one coming from Philippi, but Cannon Upshur's Bryson Johnson with the highlight of the night, maybe from Friday. 99 yard pick six for Johnson. Wow. Huge play as the Bucks win their first game of the season. And next one from Marion County. Fairmont Sr. is going to look to heave it to a receiver, but Landon Frey gets up there. What a grab. Takes it to the house. Call that one a pick six. Frey with a great athleticism in the play right there. Remember to get on our website and vote for your favorite catch and coverage of the week plays. Voting ends Monday at noon. Stay with us. We're back after the break. Now through September 18th at Sandy's Hardware, get ready to clean up your lawn this fall with this green thumb 22-inch lawn and leaf rake, only $22.99. Pair your rake and save $5 with this 32-gallon Rubbermaid Roughneck can, just $19.99, only at Sandy's Hardware. In West Virginia, we take care of each other. But a very real crisis is still hurting our communities. Opioid use disorder continues to claim lives. This can affect anyone. I came from a law enforcement family and I was a nursing assistant. But a pill you can get from the doctor turned my life upside down. Thankfully, someone cared enough to save my life. All it takes is a little compassion to help bring someone back to life. Naloxone saves lives when it's used. Recovery is possible. Visit backtolifewv.org. Someone has a question back. Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, Carl from Waukegan. I was just wondering about your Caesars Sportsbook app, and I did some digging, and apparently I can only get my Caesars rewards on the Caesars Sportsbook app? Yes, Carl. Okay. Only Caesars is going to be able to give you Caesars rewards. They're my rewards. Why would someone else give them to you, Carl, if it's called Caesars rewards? It's Caesars rewarding you. There's nothing like a motorcycle ride in West Virginia, but accidents do happen. If you're in a motorcycle crash, first call 911, secondly, seek medical attention, and thirdly, call Tom McIntyre. Hi, I'm Tom McIntyre. If you or a family member have been injured in an automobile accident, a motorcycle accident, or by one of these big trucks on the highway, give us a call. We can help. Call Thomas E. McIntyre and Associates. 
Now through September 18th at Sandy's Hardware, keep cool and save $23 on this Shade Tech One Push Canopy, just $79.99. And keep those critters away during the final days of summer with Green Thumb Insect and Bug Killer, now two for $5, only at Sandy's Hardware. Experience your education through hands-on labs and simulations here at Laurel Business and Technical Institute. We get you ready for high-demand jobs in your local workforce and give you a real-world experience. Apply today. Welcome back. The Mountaineer chapter of the Isaac Walton League held a shooting event today for kids earlier today. Kids started with air rifles in the morning and worked their way up to shooting rifles, pistols, and even revolvers. The Isaac Walton League of America is a conservation group whose goal it is to conserve, restore, and promote the sustainable use and enjoyment of natural resources. The chapter president says today's kids shooting event was in line with that vision because it got kids out into nature to enjoy it and learn new things. We need to get the kids, you know, out into the woods. We need to get them out of out in some activities like this. Uh, I, I was a conservation officer for 33 years. In the last several years, I saw less and less kids out in the woods. Now they want to sit up and just play with their games, you know. So, you know, we have 12, almost 1,200 acres up here. Mern says there are even trails on the property that children can use to get more in touch with nature. And getting more in touch with nature, uh, the weather for this weekend is perfect for that. Yes, exactly. So hopefully you get a chance to, after today, of course, because, you know, college football is happening today. 63 is the low for tonight, but tomorrow looking very nice for us. Temperatures will be in the 80s throughout the course of our week. And we're going to start warming up, too. So it's that perfect, nice temperature to go out and enjoy the outdoors because some showers will start rolling in on Wednesday all the way until next Saturday, potentially. But nice evenings for us as well. The temperature's in the 60s. It is. We love to see it. Definitely. You guys are rooting for the Mountaineers, though, right? I know you both didn't go there, but <laughs> well, that's what we're about to do after the show. I guess we have to. That's all the time we have for Weekend Edition. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a good evening. We'll see you at all.